Jingle Hall is one of the oldest houses in Lancashire and reputed to be the most haunted. It has been investigated and written about as such over the years, and yet its recorded catalogue of ghostly sightings may not be quite complete. Standing at Goosenarm near Preston, it was originally built as a manor house in 1260 by Adam de Singleton and originally called Singleton Hall. Laid out in the shape of a cross, it is surrounded by a moat and was accessed by a small wooden drawbridge, later replaced by a brick-built bridge in the 1500s. The wooden beams used in its construction are Norwegian oak, thought to have come from a wrecked Viking longboat discovered in the Ribble Valley, Goosenar being one of their settlements. Later renamed Chingle Hall, it stayed with the Singletons until the last of the line died in 1585. The house was then owned by the Wall family until 1794, after which it passed through further owners until being bought by George and Mayard Howarth in 1960. Following the death of her husband, Mrs Howarth was left as custodian of Chingle Hall. She acted as host to public guided tours of the building, regaling visitors with tales of the building's fascinating history and its ghosts of which she had personal experience. The hall's supernatural legacies date right back to its original resident family. Being Catholic, the Singletons not only installed a chapel, but later added two priest holes when, during the 16th century, holding papist masses was punchable by death. One was located in the floor to hide the accoutrements of mass and another within the chimney breast to secrete the priest. One of these hides remained hidden and undiscovered for centuries until revealing itself in 1970. When owner Mrs Howarth saw smoke coming from the chapel's ceiling, she summoned the fire brigade who discovered the smoke originated from the unknown chimney hide, within which was a log burning from the inside out. Was this an example of internal combustion spontaneous? Or a supernatural agency at work? There have certainly been some ghostly experiences reported in the hall, and one presence is thought to be that of Lady Eleanor de Singleton, last of the family to own the estate. Born in 1568, she was orphaned by the death of her parents at age six and left in the care of her two uncles. They professed the girl to be suffering from madness and kept her locked in the priest's room where she allegedly suffered sexual abuse at the hands of her guardians. This resulted in numerous pregnancies, some of the babies being stillborn while surviving ones were reputedly killed. She eventually died aged about 17 while giving birth though it has been suggested she was actually murdered. Over the years, visitors have reported a smell of lavender in that room, thought to be hers, while others have detected the odour of a dog, possibly an Afghan hound that kept the company. Those of a particular sensibility have sensed an overwhelming sense of sadness the moment they set foot in the room. But the most famous ghost is that of Blessed John Ward, who was born in the hall in 1620 and grew to become a Franciscan priest. He died a martyr for his faith in 1679 when hung, drawn and quartered at Redhill and his remains buried in St Oswald's churchyard, Worcester. It is said his head was later brought back to Chingle and buried somewhere within the boundaries. Since then, he has been seen walking the ground and even allegedly photographed. There are many examples of hauntings at Chingle that have been related and documented for prosperity, but there is another Mrs Howard related to me back in the mid-1970s, which owners and investigators during the years since appear to be largely unaware of. Mrs Howard said that, on many an evening, she would be sat in the far end of the lounge watching Coronation Street on TV with her two dogs curled up by the fire. Then there would be the sound of the front door opening and closing, and one of two figures seen crossing through to the other side of the room and the doorway to the stairs. The figure was usually a hooded monk in brown cowl, and the two dogs would leap up with tails wagging and walk with him to the stairs. However, the monk was sometimes in black, in which case her pets would remain crouched with heads down. The brown monk is believed to be John Ward, but who was the black monk? And why did it induce fear in Mrs. Howard's dogs? 
Subscribers to the supernatural will probably suggest an entity that had no, no life at all, but rather a negative energy born out of the pain and suffering associated with Chingle Hall. Today, the hall and its grounds are closed to both investigators and the public, as the current owner keeps it as a private residence. Perhaps one day its doors will open again, and perhaps the secrets of the Black Monk finally uncovered.